Let's do it. Let's start streaming. Let's see. Get ready. You are live. What what is going on? Why is it showing this? Oh man, son of a all right, hold on. Hold on, people. There we go. There we go. Looks like we are live. Is that what it looks like to you guys? I hope so. <laughs> anyway, um, there I am. We are live. Fantastic. What is up, everybody? What is up, YouTube? How are you doing? My name is Chana D. I am your techno dad, and here we are again with another live stream Saturday. These usually happen 12 noon to 1 o'clock on a Saturday of my choosing. Um, let's go into, oopsie, that's the wrong software. Let's go back over here and say what's up to everybody filing in. What's up, Edgar? How are you doing? Um, if uh, you guys are watching on the replay, uh, make sure uh, I know what's going on, and I mean, <laughs> make sure make sure to like like the video if you can hear me and everything like that. Can you guys hear me? What's up, Tim? What's going on, Tyler? How are you doing? Woo woo, Jay. What's up, Darren? Hello, hello to you too. All right, look at that. Started right off at noon and everything looks good. All right, since people are here, let's jump into the intro. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> well, I hope everybody's uh, enjoying their... Saturday. Um, I just kind of got mine started. Home theater lover, what's up, Odin? Um, got my Saturday started a couple hours ago. Today, after the live stream, I have to go set up to um, go get a uh, go get some clients. There's a, a wedding expo, as you guys know. I do a lot of uh, DJing, a lot of wedding, a lot of wedding DJing, DJing. Just actually DJed a wedding last Saturday pretty awesome had such a good time um the people had a great time it was awesome i have a, <laughs> john white i got a pioneer 3-1 running dual subs but one seems to be dominating what should i do well um john i think you should go into your distances and check out the length in which your subs are actually supposed to be if you guys um There's this, I got this little um, tack life thing. Is this coming up on the monitor here? Where's the, yeah, I got this thing. Um, it's a uh, laser measuring device. If you grab one of these, you can get a nice accurate measurement from like ear level of your seating position. It's like $20, $30 on Amazon. But uh, John, I'd suggest getting one of those. Or if you want just use a tape measure, figure out where the um, AVR has set the distance of the second sub. Sometimes they're like way off. <sighs> um, it's a nice song. Yeah, Timothy, you know it's one of mine. Um, let's see here. Odin asked, do I like the Onkyo? I'm actually got it. I've got the Onkyo back in the rack right now. And it's great. It's great. The TR, uh, sorry, TXNR676. They made a new one, the 686. Yeah. And that's running at retail right now, which is like $599, I think. But you can get the uh, 676 for 349 Now, the main difference is uh, the 686 adds THX certification. So if that's important to you, then there you go. You got to shell out the big bucks. <clears throat> The tech asks, wanted to ask you about your Halo integrated amp and how it fares against the sound of Emotiva. Um, hey, what's up, Philip? In the tech house. That's right. You guys are all part of the techno team. Um, as far as Emotiva, I have contacted my Emotiva rep. I'm still waiting on an amplifier from them. I personally have not. I mean, I heard 
Emotiva amp powering some Emotiva Air Motiva speakers at CES. However, you know, um, I haven't gotten in any for review. I do need to follow up with those guys and see if they've uh, shipped something out for me. Uh, I'm looking to get a five channel amp from Emotiva, the 5175. I think it's like 125 watts per channel into five channels into eight ohms or something like that. Um, Odin, yeah, the only difference with the 686 and the 676 Onkyo is the THX certification. They might have bumped up the power just a little bit. I don't know the specs on it off the top of my head, but that's the main difference that I saw in the two. Samsung Onyx, what's the Samsung Onyx? I gotta find that out. What is that, Onyx? Cinema LED technology, is that what you're talking about? I don't know. Samsung Onyx Cinema LED screen, the next generation of cinema. What is going on with Samsung? Like how how many how many things do we really need here, Samsung? Like uh, we've got QLED, we've got your regular, we've got micro LED, and now we've got um, what is this Onyx? Looks like it could just be like a new panel, um, from what I'm briefly reading in this article here. Comprehensive cinema screen and sound solution for movie theaters. Oh, this is for theaters. Oh, never mind. I'm just totally off base. I don't know. Haven't read about it. Um, but I'll check it out at some point. Darren, thanks for uh, letting me know. Great video on the TCL. Hey, no problem, Scarecrow. That's what I'm here for. Tim, you got the 676? It's pretty nice. It's, I have it upstairs right now. I can hear the subwoofer going off because my wife is watching movies up there now. Or TV, I think. Justin, hey man, is there any other player that's close to the Oppo 203 and does Oppo Vision that's close to build quality? Oh, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, well, actually, that's one of the things I want to talk about was the Oppo. So maybe jumping back and forth into that. Um, Justin, I would say that the Cambridge the Cambridge Audio CX UHD is pretty much an Oppo UDP203 clone. Um, from what I've seen of pictures of the graphic interface or the user interface, uh, it's not as nice as the Oppo, but it uses the same internals, it uses the same chips. The one thing that the Cambridge does not have is a DAC, a built-in DAC. So there's no analog output on the Cambridge Audio CX UHD, which I've heard from some people saying, or not some people, but the articles I've read, saying that it's actually just a little bit better than the Oppo as far as picture quality because everything is digital inside the box and you don't have any interference with that DAC, the analog converter and the analog chips. Um, they say give some interference or something like that with the um, digital output. So the Cambridge Audio actually having no DAC, no analog chips, being straight, just a digital transport, it's, it like makes it better. I don't know. That's what they say. So hopefully in the next couple months, I will be uh, getting one to review. I have to buy it. It's 700 bucks, so I'm just kind of waiting on that. Um, but one thing I know, like... <clears throat> In Facebook groups, all through whatever Facebook groups I'm part of for like home theater and stuff, and even on private messages and whatever on Facebook, the one thing I notice, the one thing I notice, everybody like months ago were saying, oh, I can't afford the Oppo. Oh, can't afford it. Can't afford it. I don't, wouldn't spend $500 on a 4K player. And they went with the LG or Sony. And then guess what? They went ahead and they got the Oppo. And guess what? They're like, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I, I really, I find it hilarious. I've been saying it all along. And finally it takes like Oppo to uh, shut things down for people to buy like it on a mass scale. And now people are like, oh my God, this thing's insane. I can't believe how awesome this is. This is like the one and only, this is the end all be all. And that's what a lot of people in the Facebook group or saying, so what do you guys think? You think that's funny? Cause I find it hilarious. I've been recommending the Oppo is the one to get 
for such a long time, even in the Facebook groups. And they're like, oh, no, it's too expensive. They end up buying it, and they're like, oh, my God, this thing's way better. Like, the picture quality is so much better than the Sony X800, so much better than the UP970, and so on and so forth. So much better than the Xbox. So it's I, I find it really funny. You know, um, just one of those things. But let me know what you think in the comments here. Okay... I'm building a 7.2.4 SVS. I'm up to the 5.0 Ultra. What receiver amp do you suggest to power the system properly? <sighs> so look, um, I don't know how you say your name. And an Elka 79. I would go with this. If you need an 11 channel amplifier or receiver, I would buy a nine channel AV receiver. A nine channel AV receiver, like the Denon X4400 uh, 4400H. Because it will process 11 and get yourself a five channel AV, uh, a five channel power amplifier, like the one I was talking about, Emotiva uh, 5175. It's got 120, 125 watts per channel in, uh, into eight ohms for five channels driven. So you have the power amp powering all your speakers that are around you, you know, at ear level, left, center, right, surround left, surround right. Those five powered by the power amp and then you'll have the other six speakers powered by the AV receiver I think that's a better option and for the same price like I think it's $1,600 for the Denon X4400H and then $800 on top of that will get you that amplifier now if you were to spend all that money on an AV receiver yeah you could go the X6400H but I think you'll get better power out of this kind of a setup. I mean, why not? The 4400H and the 6400H really don't have that much uh, different to you, you know, between the two, except for the eight nine hundred dollar price difference. So I would say go go that route. All right, what else we got? Uh. Juan Reyes, uh, what's my opinion for the best bang for your buck acoustic panels and sound dampening? You know, honestly, like I have this stuff here down in the music studio and it's kind of hard to put this stuff upstairs in the living room without my wife like getting, I don't know, complaining about it, about them being eyesores. And honestly, I don't know where to get those acoustic panels. I know uh, I know that that home theater dude, I if you guys know that channel... He made some, so definitely check out his video of him making some. Uh, for the replay, I'll put the uh, the link down in the description. I don't know if I can do that right now. All right, look at that. 49 people watching. We're almost at 50 people. That's awesome. You guys smash that like button. Let me know you guys can hear me and you're here. Can I make a joke? What's up, Fernando? Go for it. As long as it's not like racial and stuff like that. Justin, is there any other player? Sorry, that's good as the Oppo 203. Oh, oh. Uh, you know, a lot of people do like the Panasonic UB900. I didn't purchase it because at the time I bought my Oppo, it cost more than the Oppo. It was at seven or eight hundred dollars, I think. And so that's why I hadn't got it in. It is now less than the Oppo, but we'll see what happens with Panasonic's new 4K players. I might get the 420. <laughs> 420. I might get the 420 and I might get the 820 just to see like the difference between the two. See how it goes. Umbrella Ops, Techno Dad, I posted my question in the community page. What was your question? Oh man. Have you ever heard of Z Z PT Media Player? Any media in digital, so media player is a way to go for me. I was wondering if you had any experience. No, unfortunately, Ahmed, I do not. Raphael, Elac. Hey, uh, from what I heard. Um, uh, all right, go for it, Fernando. Um, from what I heard, um, uh, at CES, I heard a bunch of ELACs while I was there. I even talked to Andrew Jones, really cool guy, really into speakers. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I contacted them to get some ELACs to review, but have not, um, have not, uh, heard any response back from them yet. All right, I'm going to the community page here. Community page, you asked me a question here. Who is that? 
Umbrella Ops. Do 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 do. Um, oh, the TCL 55 6 Series last night. Definitely happy with the HDR brightness versus the Lazarus model. It actually looks like HDR this time. However, I'm noticing light minimal banding issues. Uh, it only shows during solid color scenes and skylines and menu screens. Um, I have had... Um, I see a little bit of banding on mine when I do a black to white gradient and in the like grays. Uh, did you see my one video about it here i'll post the link in the chat and you can check it out in the description box of this video that i'm about to post the link in here to um there are test slides that you can download and put them on a thumb drive and toss it in the usb port of the tv and check it out all right where we go Sam Well, what's up, dude? How are you doing, man? What's black, red, black, red, black, red? I don't know. What is it? A zebra with a sunburn. Oh! Awesome. I thought I was going to... I thought it was going to be a roulette table. <laughs> Have you checked out Youth Man's channel? Hey, Darren. Yeah, actually, I do. Uh, I talk to Youth Man quite a bit. He and I always uh, uh, chat on Facebook. Uh a lot of behind the scenes stuff like that we're still trying to work out what kind of uh uh collab that we can do because i know we were talking about that when we first started talking but nothing's happened so hopefully you know we'll have a collab in the future he's a great guy what's up mike if you're out there <clears throat> uh do you know anything about hdr 10 plus brent uh nothing so far nothing so far um nothing has come out on hdr 10 plus nothing new has been uh, out on HDMI 2.1 as far as what manufacturers are going to start implementing HDMI 2.1 or HDR 10 plus in 2019. Alex and Simba. Hey, Techno Dad. Love your awesome videos. You recommend not center channel for game for desktop gaming. Same question with external amplifier. Hey, all right. 53. We broke 53 watching. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you guys for showing up at for this Techno Dad live thing. Sorry, live stream Saturday. Um, talking about home theater and stuff. And just since you talked about gaming, Alex and Simba, I put a link down in the description of this live video. You guys watching on the replay, what's up? You guys can click it too. I just started a gaming channel. I found out that the Xbox One X can uh, capture 4K 60, 4K resolution, 60 frames per second internally so i've been working on a workflow check out the channel it's it's in its infancy i haven't really started but i should have like weekly videos up on my gaming channel as i do like play two to three hours of call of duty now when i uh uh I, i'm gonna the, the the only difference the difference between this gaming channel and other gaming channel is you guys my followers subscribers everybody that likes to play call of duty or whatever should add me up because I'm going to be filming these things and I hope to have you guys playing in the party with me. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, check out the link. There's really nothing there. But just go ahead and start subscribing because I'll sh I should have some content coming up soon. And I just ordered a PC. A gaming PC. I don't know why. I, I just felt like I needed to have one. So I haven't had a PC in like since like 2002 is when I got my Mac. That's when I switched. And so this is this will be awesome, you know. Anyway, uh, do you recommend not center channel for gaming desktop? Yeah, you probably don't need a center channel for gaming desktop. If you have your um, your left and your right speakers uh, towed in properly, and you make the tip of a um, like you're right here, and the speakers are here, you make the tip of an equilateral triangle. Um, then you should have a great uh, like fake center or phantom center, whatever they call it. So you should be good that way. Raphael, thanks. Ted, so I've never bought a TV until I bought the 65 TCL. Just by going on the internet, I hear it's very bad quality control, but I think the picture looks great with 4K Blu-ray from the Xbox One X. Ah, I just lost your comment. Where the heck did it go? Uh, there you are, Ted. 
Um, whatever are some key things to look out for if I have a do have a bad unit? Okay, Ted, look in the uh, chat box. I just posted a link in there. That will take you to a video I made, and in that video, there's in the description box, there's a link to um, download slides. Download those slides, put it on a thumb drive, put it in the TV, and check them out. And you'll be able to see any kind of like glaring weaknesses of the TV with those slides. Okay, Justin. But right now, is it the best player for Dolby Vision? The UB900 doesn't have it. Yeah, pretty much, um, Justin, the Oppo UDP-203 is the best player with Dolby Vision. I did buy an LG UP970 on eBay for like 90 bucks uh, used. So I have that just to test out. But, uh, you know, it's loud and it has the issues that the UP970 has. I just got it for Dolby Vision testing. Jimmy, brand new to your channel. Welcome, Jimmy. What's going on, buddy? What are your thoughts on the 2018 Vizios, particularly the M series? I have no idea about the M series. I do, I'm looking at the P series, like the lower level P series, not the P quantum, cause that costs too much. Hopefully, you know, once my wedding start picking up and I have extra money to spend, I was going to pick up a 55 inch Vizio, the P series, not the P quantum, the lower end one, that kind of rivals the TCL six series so that I can kind of compare them for you guys. But as far, like I, I'm six hours away round trip from, excuse me, from the nearest Best Buy. So I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. PCM versus bitrate, uh, Jerry rock or, or J rock. I have no idea what that means or what that's referring to. If you could, uh, let me know what do you mean by that? Then cool. What do you think about the faux K projectors? Ahmed? Um, I don't know, man. I think if you're going to do like an all out home theater with the 4k projector, there are some, in the budget range and budget range is still like, I don't know, four or $5,000, right? Right. Let's check Amazon for some 4k projectors real quick. I know there's, doesn't BenQ make one? Oh, Optoma 1300, 1700. Are these ones you're talking about? BenQ 1500. I mean, I know the Sony is the big daddy, but that's like, they, they have here, let's go to the Sony 4k projectors. Sony 4K projectors. Their their first one starts at five thousand, and you can get oh these are 2017 models. Then you can get another one for eight thousand, and then their big daddy's twenty five thousand, and that's still the 2017 model. Um, oh, there's another one for fourteen thousand or fifteen thousand. Sorry, that might be the 2018 model. We'll see. I'm not sure. Hey, hey, they do 3D. That's awesome. Native 4K HDR 3D. That's pretty good. I mean, it should be for like $15,000, right? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Andre, what's up, man? How you doing? M-R-T-S-C-R-P-30. What's up, dude? Don't know how to say that. Desert Raider. Saw this morning that last year's TCL is on sale for $4.99 for today. Good deal. Worth the discount? Yeah, I think it's worth the discount. I didn't have any problems with... Um, well, I mean, the one thing I didn't like was how 1080i and 720, 720p looked on last year's TVs. Um, so, I mean, that's up to you. I mean, $499, it's $100 off. I mean, you might as well get the new one. It actually is built a little bit better. It's got more metal than it does plastic. Uh, or, I mean, brushed aluminum. So, yeah, I don't know. It's up to you, really. Youth man is a cool dude. Yes, he is. He's awesome. Four killer is the Klipsch R one twelve SW that you had much better than the R one twelve SW. What sub under eight hundred would be better, and would it be that much better than the R one twelve? Yeah, I would go with the SVS, um, the SB two thousand. It's six ninety nine on Crutchfield, five ninety nine on B and H. Oh, that's a refurb. Um, hold on. Let's see. What did you say? Eight hundred dollars? Yeah, you're good with that. Crutchfield six ninety nine SB two thousand. Look at that. Look at that one. Who was that for? That was for four killer. Check that one out. Juan Reyes, thanks for replying. One more thing for five point one home theater system. Do I necessarily need a preamp or can I just rock five channel amp? 
Also considering a thousand dollar Marantz. Yes, you're gonna need a preamp because you need something. The preamp is the section that you plug in all your inputs to, and your preamp also processes the signal. So if you want to go separate, meaning preamp, processor, amplifier, you're gonna need both. An AV receiver combines the two, but therein kind of, um, I guess, makes things not as effective because you're trying to jumble too many things into one product. That's kind of like the idea. Also, when you have an amplifier, the less things in the amplifier gives the amplifier a cleaner signal, uh, lower, um, um, lower harmonic distortion, all that kind of stuff. Do you know what the... Fernando, do you know the Sony SNX1? I have two speakers and they make sound like a subwoofer. I do not have any experience with that at all. Oh, quick update. We are up to 62 people. What is up, people? If you just joined us, my name's Chana D. I'm the Techno Dad. And here we are, live stream Saturday. Got some questions about 4K home theater. Definitely just put them down in the comments. I'm trying to get into as much as I can. Man, it's only been 25 minutes. Whew. Feels like I've been talking this whole time. Uh, the Sony SSNX1 look pretty cool. Don't know how they sound, though. Kyle, what's up, buddy? That banning, I personally still hold <laughs> to the panel lottery. Yeah, only way to essentially avoid it is to get a cherry-picked unit, I guess. We just got super lucky. Uh, Justin, that's a great question. So Justin asked, will the Oppo ever get HDR10+. Plus? I hope that it does, and I think that's still why Oppo is, um, you know, still have their service department out for firmware updates. I think it's all about HDR10+. Plus. Uh, what else would they need? They can't do HDMI 2.1, or they don't need to. So I think HDR10+, Plus is the only reason that uh, we're still going to get a firmware update. We'll see you in the future. What's up? Mario, what's up? Mario Mullins. Chris, I can't say that last name, but Chris, what's up, man? How are you? Thanks. Thanks for watching the videos, bro. Umbrella, do you prefer streaming on the TCL Roku apps or a PS4 Xbox? I've noticed that Dolby Vision looks very dark on the TCL. Yeah, you, I usually use um, Bright, uh, Dolby Vision Bright on the TCL, and I would go with the TCL. If you have the TCL in the living room, you get the double D. The double D. I know you guys are after the double D, right? I'm talking about Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. If you watch anything on Vudu or if you get 4K disc in a, in a Vudu code, you can get double Dolby on Vudu. If you haven't seen the newest video, I show you guys how to set up Dolby Atmos through ARC pass-through. Uh, I, show you, I show you how to set it up on four different receivers, the Sony, the uh, Yamaha, Onkyo, and a Denon. So I should cover most. I, I know I, I don't have a pioneer just now, but hopefully soon we'll see. But yeah, I would uh, if I'm on the TV, I'll be watching everything via the TV streaming apps. No reason to go outside of that. See, here's the thing: like I have the Sony X900e in the bedroom night right now, and that Android operating system blows because I can't get Voodoo 4K streaming to the TV. Now, if I had that TV in the living room, I'd still be pissed off because you still can't get uh, Dolby Atmos through ARC off that TV due to the operating system. So that Android operating system really needs to be revamped. I think Sony really needs to get on that um, because all these other TVs are offering options that just that just aren't like compatible with that operating system. And for what it's worth, this Roku operating system is really looks nice it's easy to use and it has all the options available that the you know android os doesn't on a sony tv so i mean if we were to combine that sony tv with the features that are on the roku os pff, no brainer sony all day but it's not like that so i don't know mike just picked up a ps1 audio file lunch carousel cd player nice I used to have a big ass CD player. I had like the 300 disc CD player. <laughs> Sam, what's up? Dude, you got some ohm speakers? I've been trying to get them to send me some speakers for a little while. Um, I, I would love to hear some. So 
you know, like I can't spend, I, I can only spend like $600 a month on equipment for the channel because that's what the channel's kind of making. Um, if you guys didn't know, it's making about 600 bucks a month. So, you know, if you guys want me to, uh, buy some more stuff, definitely, you know, use my links down in the description when you're going to Amazon to buy stuff that helps, that helps me, you know, buy more stuff for the channel. Um, Umbrella HDR10 looks great on the PS4 Pro. Awesome. Awesome. I don't really use my PS4 Pro too much. I game on the Xbox One X mostly. Um, I would love to. I actually got the PS4 Pro just for testing like HDR10 and all that kind of stuff. But if the Final Fantasy VII Remake ever gets made, I am all about it. I'm going to be buying it on a PlayStation 4 and, and we're going to go from there. Because I love that game. It's going to suck all kinds of time out of my uh, situation. No, Fernando, I haven't seen the Sonys. I just Googled it. They look cool. But like I said, I haven't heard them. Francis, is there a link to your gaming channel? Yeah, the link is down in the description of this live video. Um, here, I can just post it down here too in the chat box. Boom. Um, all right, so... H1Z1 coming to PS4 Pro on the 22nd. Awesome. Apex, what's going on, buddy? Shouldn't have hit me up with gaming PC, build them, and couldn't have helped you out. Bummer. Would have been awesome. Maybe next time. Yeah, you know, I just, uh, you know, I can't, uh, I don't have time to, like, build that shit, and uh, I really, oops, and I really just don't have time, really. So, um... Yeah, I got one from uh, made from Digital Storm, so they look pretty legit. So I figured, why not? And my boy Jolster G4K uh, hooked me up with a monitor, so stoked on that. Thanks, Jolster. Um, oh, look at that! 85 people watching. What's up, everybody? Spam that, smash that like button, and uh, let me know you can hear me and that you're here. Ask a question. I'm trying to get to him as soon as I can. Raf Cave channel had an LG OLED and he returned this because of banning. So now he got the new Sony and he loves the OLED. If people are interested in that. Oh. Oh hey, Apex. Um I still might need uh, let's say this like quietly. I still might need a, a PC for my kid, so maybe we can um, work something out later on. Uh, Chris, what is the best way to set up an 8.2 Sony home theater system? Not really sure what 8.2 is. Are you talking about front wides? Because that would bring it to a 9.2. Not 100% sure that Sony can do that. Uh, BenQ TK, TK800, is that a 4K projector? Oh, okay, that one. I don't know, man. I have no idea. I would say try it out. You guys, I think when it comes to electronics, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. The more you pay for it, the better it should be. But there is like a point of diminishing return, right? Um, what's the difference between a $15,000 projector and a $25,000 projector? I don't know. And in that aspect, or, or along that thought process am i even going to tell the difference could i even tell the difference between a seven thousand dollar projector and a fifteen thousand dollar projector i don't know it's tough to say unless you have those kinds of things so this fifteen hundred dollar projector from benq that you're talking about uh desert raider i don't know i don't know how good it is i don't know if it's a faux k or it's a 4k best thing to do is if you've got the time and you got the money buy it check it out if it doesn't meet your standards return it and that's what i always say like wherever you're buying from feel confident about it and and uh, about where you're buying it from and its return policy because you know i would return stuff all the time back in the day if i didn't like it get the tcl if you're gaming yeah umbrella that's yeah the input lag is pretty uh pretty low i played a little gears of war 4 the other day um or actually last night on the TCL, it was great. APEC, I totally agree. Like, I don't have any um, burning on my OLED, and about a lot of people on that one video are just like, oh, yeah, enjoy your o OLED burning. I'm like, okay, sure thing. Not happening. Thanks. Bye. 
I have no interest in Vizio, says Kyle. I said, screw you to Vizio in the 2016 lineup. I'm not a huge Vizio fan, you know, to get all together. And as most of you know, I'm not a huge Samsung fan either. But, you know, if they give me some TVs to review, hey, still won't be a fan. But I'll review the TV, like, honestly and whatever. Brent, uh, BenQ. Yeah, if you guys got had any BenQ projectors, 4K projectors, let us know um, how it is. Let me know how it is. Let, let us all know how it is. I don't have room for a projector, so I can't really... Like, I don't even have a wall to, like, put it on. So I, I, I couldn't tell you. Or a screen, for that matter. Yeah, Fernando, I, I have that, um, the Sony SSNX1 up there. Kendall, late and missed a lot. It's all right, Kendall. It's going to be out on the replay. We've only been here for, like, 35 minutes. It's all good. Odin, uh, Home Theater Lover says, Optima UHD 60 blows the BenQ out of the water. Awesome. Good to know. Hey, Technodad, have you tried using the newly released Ice Wallow A Lot 143? I have no idea what that is. Let's look that up, shall we? Ice flow. No, what is that? I have no idea what that is. So I would say no, but I have no idea what that is. Okay, so Home Theater Lover is uh, uh, loving his Optoma UHD 60. If you guys are looking for a 4K projector, check that out. Um. Scully, Scully, yeah, uh, Emotiva 5175. I'll, 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 I'm going to drop a link right now in t for that one. Let me just double check the specs. Ah, come on, work with me here. Scroll bar. 125 watts per channel into 8 ohms, 5 channels driven. This is the one that I was talking about earlier. Boom, it's at the bottom of the chat box. Eric Reynolds, what's up, man? Have you tried 1080 i through HDMI on the Xbox One X to make things look better on the TCL? No, I have not, but I just... Oh, awesome news. I just bought my second Xbox One X. Mm. So I have one in the master bedroom. I have one in the living room. So all I need to do is bring the uh, TCL up to the bedroom. And then I'm going to start testing that out. Still not sure if I want to keep it for months and months or just return it. Uh, neighbor Nikki. Yeah, I talked about the Oppo 203. Do you have a question about it? I still think it's pretty awesome. And um, yeah, that's pretty, yeah, it's pretty awesome still. Do, 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 do. Go with BenQ for budget 4K projector, says Raphael. Have you heard of HDMI ports going out on dead receivers from Home Theater Lover? No, I have not, Odin. Not not at all. Chris, what's up, man? What's up? Oh, is, are these old comments? Derp. <laughs> I'm an idiot. When can we review on the bookshelf speakers? Uh, which bookshelf speakers, Shane, are you talking about? What's poppin' Mimi? Mimi machine? Or is it meme, meme machine? <laughs> Mimi, I'm a retard. Oh. No, that's not a good thing to say. Sorry. HDR my Xbox One X looks washed out on the TCL P605. Hmm. It could. Um, messing around with some settings. Hi, I would like to know the difference between sealed or unsealed for subs. Thanks. Um, a ported sub usually has a little bit more low-end bass extension. Uh, better for explosions and rumbly sounds. A sealed box is better for like tight, punchy bass, like a kick drum or or music. So a lot of time they say like if you watch a lot more movies, go with a ported sub. If you listen to a lot more music, go with a sealed sub. That's like the quick answer. I can get into it in greater detail if you want to email me. I think my email is down in the ticker below here. John White, one more question. I have the Samsung MU6070, but when I connect to my receiver through any Net or A or C E C it loses picture for no reason. Oh, A R C. Um that's really strange, man, John. Um I can't really help you out on that because I don't have any Samsungs. If I would I would contact Samsung uh tech support and see what they can can do. You're just a 
Normie using Apple EarPods. Well, I have the AirPods somewhere around here. I reviewed them, and uh, yeah, you know, it's all good. I, I'm a DJ, so I have a bunch of different headphones. I got these awesome Pioneers here. Um, these things were like 350 Those are their top-of-the-line ones. But you got to remember, like, I make all my money DJing, so there's that. Then there's these uh, Focals. If you guys know Focals, these things are uh, amazing. These are, um, I use this when I'm uh, mixing on my headphones. Um, I got these headphones here. These are gaming headphones. They're Dolby Atmos Gaming. This is the Ray, Rig um, 800XL or something like that. I was going to review these, but I never got around to it. Um, and there's, oh yeah. And then there's these headphones. I like using these a lot. Um, these are the Bang & Olufsen. I usually wear these or use these when I'm editing video upstairs in the living room. Um, these are phenomenal. And yeah, so I got a lot of uh, headphones that I that I use and I use for different um, applications. It's just the way it goes. Campbell, Cam Ball, what's up? Uh, what's what are my thoughts between the SVS sound system and a Klipsch sound system? I I really like the Klipsch sound systems because of the horn loaded tweeters. So you know. Um, I had those little SVSs and I can't wait to check out the ultra SVS bookshelves because those are supposed to be like some of the best bookshelves ever made. So I definitely want to check those out. But I mean, it's all personal preference. One thing you guys got to remember is when you're looking at speakers or shopping for speakers, go listen to the speakers and take music with you that you've heard for years, that you've listened for years or take a movie or a DVD or a Blu-ray, whatever. Take it with you so you can demo the stuff that you would normally listen to on those speakers. And if they have like different type of amplifiers, let's say you have a, a Denon receiver and at Best Buy Magnolia, they have they have Denons that they can put together with Klipsch. And then there you go. Um, if you can't get to any SVS, that is an issue. So, you know, they do have a 45 day in-home trial. So maybe you want to try that out. Maybe you give them a call. Say like, hey, you know, I'm really interested in your speakers. Not sure how they sound though. And they'll definitely mention that. And you know, it's free shipping back and forth. So you got nothing to lose really, but time. Ted, I tried Dolby Vision on my Apple TV with TCL. And to me, the 4K HDR settings look better than the 4K Dolby Vision. The HDR settings made the colors pop more. That's interesting. I will definitely check that out when I'm reviewing. Where am I at? Oh, Apex took off. Kendall Tull says the BenQs are pixel shifters, not native 4K. Okay, that's why they're called the Faux K, not the 4K. Um, where was I in this? Android and Sony are garbage. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, guys, just trying to figure out where I'm at. Do you do subwoofer things? If so, what are the best subwoofers? <laughs> I don't know, Fernando. I don't know what subwoofer things are. Is that reviews? Um, you know, SBS has a has a big, big, big uh, market share of subwoofers. Klipsch has some great subwoofers. Honestly, a lot of the company subwoofers can be, uh, you know, on par. I know SBS really goes like the distance with the if you actually look at the speaker right the the cage that the speaker's on it's like full metal it's pretty heavy duty and the magnets are f massive are massive on those svs ones um Doo -doo -doo -doo. Recently bought a pair of Klipsch 280F to replace Martin Logan Motion 10S, but are the 280F going to pair well with my Motion 8 Center? Eh. Uh, Dan Kim asked this question. Ideally, in your front stage, you want to have something that's matched. It's mainly your tweeter um, and mid range, right? That want to be matched. Because anytime something pans on the screen, that sound will travel from those front three speakers back and forth. So that's why you would want to. 
And really, it's just an audio thing. Just listen to it, man. Listen to it and see. If you notice, like, the timbre of things kind of shifts up or down when the thing pans over, then you'll then you'll be like, oh, I can notice it. Then it, then, then it really just, you know, it, it will it bother you? That's really the other question that you got to answer. And then go from there. Darren Buss says, Air Motiva speakers are awesome. Air Motiva, Air Motiva. That's their line. Yeah, they use a ribbon tweeter, and those things are really very accurate, actually. No, I uh, on the patience PlayStation CC. <laughs> what is going on? I can't even read. Um, who is this? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's mute you. All right. Um, I want one of those Sony two thousand watt RMS stereos. <laughs> Kyle, you crack me up, buddy. <laughs> Timothy, how come you don't do disc reviews anymore? Timothy, I think like in the beginning. I was doing a lot because I was looking for the best looking 4K stuff that's out there. And now there's just a whole bunch of them. And I know my boy uh, Brass Tax and Spare Change, they still rock that stuff. So um, I did just buy Saving Private Ryan in 4K and Valyrian. So I'm kind of slow on the uptake on that. But I got to tell you, man, like the Avatar 3D was awesome. I also bought... um, um, Alice in Wonderland 3D. Can't wait to get that going. Can't wait. Techno Dad, do you have a DJ channel? I DJ as well. Um, yeah, it's actually uh, my name. It's Chana Da Silva. Um, slash user slash Chana D. I think that's. Do 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 do. Yeah, here's my music channel. I'll pop that in the bottom of the comments or the chat what is your honest opinion on Sirwin Vegas Sirwin Vegas kick butt that's all I gotta say I grew up listening to him uh, my cousin used a, some big ass Sirwin Vegas for a DJing back in the day we're talking about like 94 95 awesome in cars too a good den in AV- AVR to run clip speaker system Cam Bell, um, pretty much anyone because, um, I mean, anything from the X1400 on up, X2400, uh, X4400, those should be all fine. Um, the clips have uh, very low, uh, very high sensitivity rating, so um, yeah, you'll be okay with most of it. Christopher Wilson, what's up, dude? Oh, Kyle, thanks for subscribing to the gaming channel. Oh, man, have you ever heard some of the high-end AV receivers such as the Arcam or Anthem? If so, how do they compare to Den and Anki Morantz receivers? I really uh, wanted to hear some Anthem, but they did not have any Anthem hooked up over uh, at CES 2018. So I was kind of uh, disappointed about that. I do want to get the Anthem um, Atmos receiver, but it's like $2,400. So I'd have to save up a whole lot to do that. And yeah... I would love to hear it, though. Maybe I'll try to contact them. Cheekster, what's up? Big hey, oh, what's up? UK in the house. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Top three reference quality Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos movies for demos. Um, okay. Dolby Vision, I would say Transformers, The Last Night, um, Power Rangers, and I think Valerian. I, I saw a little glimpse of Valerian. It's got a lot of great color. I just uh, I popped it in while I was testing some uh, Dolby Vision on the TCL through the uh, LG UP970, and I used that Valerian disc. I haven't watched the movie, but from the little like two minute clip I saw, it looks pretty awesome. Um, so I would go with those three. And as far as Dolby Atmos, there's a lot. Um, Dolby Atmos demo disc from 2016, still pretty much the one I use. Um, I just uh, I've been uh, reviewing the SVS Prime Elevation speakers, and those things rock. Um, I should have the review up this coming week. But I've used a lot of the demos in the um, in that Dolby Atmos demo disc. Um, apart from that, it's kind of tough. I mean, okay, Power Rangers has a great, a very active Dolby Atmos track, so definitely check that one out. And um, third one, I don't know. I don't know. I'd say those are the top two. You know, oh, um, Rogue Nation. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation has some awesome Dolby Atmos af- effects in there. So check that out. 
there that those are my three 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 off the top of my head oh apec had to go sorry buddy see you later Juanara, hey man tune in late lol would you consider suggesting media cabinets to store all game consoles players yeah i mean you just use what you got pretty much use what you can in whatever space that you have uh, i have a glass rack which thankfully doesn't have any dividers on it otherwise i would not have been able to use um a klipsch rp450c because that thing's that center channel is huge hi chana we are waiting for the sdr sd std s no str dn 1080 complete review i know actually um i know i know you're waiting on that i um i have been to uh I'm going back and forth with Sony about something, so we're just going to have to wait on that for a little bit. Do you ever see that deal where you got the free sub with your clips floor standing speakers? Was that once a year, 4Killer ask? It was actually twice. Um, it happened at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, so look out for that. I just signed up for the Klipsch, uh mailing list thing, and then they, they, they send you an email if they're doing that. I think they did that because they have a whole new RP line coming out, so since that new line is coming out in... Like summertime, I hear August, September, maybe. Um, maybe they'll do the free sub on the old stuff again. Chris, you have a JBL subwoofer? Awesome. Uh, could I review ELAC about ammo speakers? Sure. I will contact them and see what I can get from them. Headbox Blu-ray player is underrated. Yeah, Odin, you've switched. You're back. Yeah, it is underrated. I mean, it does a good job. But you can, you know, find better if you go with a um, standalone player. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Shane, you're hilarious. Um... TD, you said Emotiva, but you posted this one. Oh, Kendall. Kendall, you have to scroll down. That 175 watt rating is for two channels. If you scroll down, it'll tell you um, here. Yeah, 175 watts per channel into 8 ohms. It, use, it says power output in parentheses, two channels driven. And then below that, it says power output, all channels driven, 125 watts RMS per channel into 8 ohms. So that's what I was talking about. But great question. Great question. Expert Joey. Yeah, yeah, somebody just mentioned that. The uh, P-Series, the P605, 55 inches, 500 bucks at uh, Best Buy right now. What's up with the follow-up review on the Sony 1080 AVR? I got I to gotta hold off on that until I get some word back uh, from Sony about something, so just don't worry about it. It's coming. It's coming. It was great so far. Do, 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 do. Sup, Chico. What? M and M's. Home theater lover got the 450C. I bet you love it. Man, all right, here we go. <laughs> all good, all good, Kendall. It's all good. Andre, oh, right, you're answering somebody else. Awesome. I want Astro's A50 headset for Xbox One. Yeah, those are like yeah, 300 bucks. The the other ones I got were like 150. I figured they're Dolby Atmos headphones. I might as well check it out, right? Would you recommend wall hanging the Klipsch Atmos top mount speakers? Yeah, in fact, Chico, I did that in one of my videos uh, before, one of my Dolby Atmos videos. It's pretty easy. You need a number 10 size screw and just uh, make sure you're screwing into some studs on this. Or you could use, um, what are those, anchors if you wanted to. Ugh. Andre Hall, SVS. <laughs> One hour. Hey, man, would you recommend any media cabinets? Uh, did we already talk about media cabinets? I mean, I, I can't recommend any because I don't use any. Oh. Home theater lover. I'm a Denon guy, but I'm going to grab the Onkyo 686. Your review of the 676 sold me. Awesome. I need to screenshot that. Boom. There we go. 
Do you think TCL have made a big mistake not bringing the six series to the new European lineup? The game troll. Um, I have no idea. I, you know what? I do see a lot of people in the comments of the my TCL video saying that, you know, like Australia doesn't get like all the features. Uh, UK doesn't get, or I mean, Europe doesn't get all the features. So I can imagine it being very frustrating. I mean, some people say like, uh, we're, su I know I'm super fortunate and lucky to be here in the U.S. where like. AV receivers like 300 bucks. You can't get that pricing outside the United States. I know it's it kind of kind of sucks. Sorry. Dan Kim, awesome man. Yeah, 450C or 440C clips. You you can't go wrong. They're they're awesome. Vac Panther on Tuesday. Nice. Awesome. Whoever just got their R615 and everything's good. Awesome. Raphael, by the way, love your Pink Floyd shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is Dark Side of the Moon. You guys know, uh, what was it? I, I got, I spent like a few weeks in Tokyo and then I got home. And then the very next day, my uh, friend's wife said, hey, do you want to see Roger Waters perform Dark Side of the Moon at the Hollywood Bowl? I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm totally jet lagged, but yeah. And and I'm like, how much are the tickets? She's like, it's free. And I'm like, okay, I'm there. So it was awesome. I still have the ticket upstairs and a and an autograph poster too. It's all upstairs. Pretty cool. Um, all right. Uh M Ms and Vegas Rocks. Yes, M Ms do rock. Emotiva, Air Motiva, B1 bookshelf speakers are inexpensive for three hundred dollars for the pair. That's that's very true, Darren. It is. Um, I still got to talk to my Emotiva rep because he was very interested in sending me speakers for review as well. Dan. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Dolby Atmos on Saving Private Ryan. Cool. Can't wait. Can't wait to check that out. Um, Gustavo, do I prefer Klipsch, Dolby Atmos, or SVS Prime Elevation and why? Um, I actually, now that I've been having the Prime Elevations, and if you guys know, I have my speakers on a beam. On, at my ceiling, and they're like, you know, they didn't have the natural angle, and they go down. And the Klipsch ones actually just weren't as clear because they're not meant for that. They aren't a direct radiating speaker. They aren't a direct radiating speaker. They're a speaker that was designed to bounce sound. So like, they kind of mess around with the tweeter and the like the uh, frequency to make the bounce happen correctly. I guess is how it works. The SVS Prime Elevations are direct rating, radiating speakers. And for the demos that I've listened to, or like the Atmos that I've listened to or checked out when I had the SVS up there, and I went back and forth. You know, I just I kept everything mounted there and I just moved the speaker wire back and forth. And the SVS, hands down, much better for an installed application. They're not going to be good for ceiling bounce. They're going to be good for being installed because they are a direct radiating speaker and they can handle like 300 watts or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm liking them so far. I might even keep them and get rid of my clips. RP 140 SA. Hope that answers your question there, Gustavo. Yes, Darren. I, I am mean, I'm hoping to get uh, one of those Emotiva AVRs as well. Hey, Cheekster. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Should I buy the TCL6 or wait for the Vizio P? I have no idea, Jesus. No idea. What's your take on the Onkyo NR777? Probably just about as good as the 676 that I reviewed. Just a little bit better. Uh, Jesus, thanks for your videos. Really helped me out in my home theater. Hey, thank you so much for uh, watching. And, you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Joseph Anderson asks, Hi, as someone who's had the Klipsch RP line, where do you upgrade from there? Do you have different brands in mind that you would entertain, like KEF or something? Yeah, I'd like to check out some KEF. Uh, I really would love to have some Focals, but they're like 10000 for the pair, so that's not happening. One of the speaker companies that I really like the most, and it's because of their like electrostatic loudspeaker, is Martin Logan. I think the lower end line starts at $2,000 each, or 2000 for the pair. Hold on. 
but they are some of the clearest speakers I've ever heard. Phenomenal for home theater and music. I think they're 2000 each. Um, and they get up to like 40,000 each. Let's see. 2,500 each for like the lower end. Okay, so the lowest you can go are the 1500 each, but I would go and and um, you can get it onto the Magnolia site through Best Buy. Um, but the ones that I heard that I like are the dual eight inch, um, which are 2000 each. I would go with that. Now, if you wanted, you can also try the um, Klipsch, um, whatchamacallit, the um, RF73s. So you can check those out as well. That's where I would go. Check those out. White strand, you're having issues with your C7. That's really crappy. Maybe uh, just return it and see if you can just get your money back and then hold off until you find something else. Or maybe get the TCL until something better comes along or you want to try again. And Andre has the ELAC Atmos speakers. Guys at ELAC are pretty cool. Yes, they are. Uh, Charles, if you have questions about products, contact Charles. I'm going to screenshot that right now. There we go. Timothy, hey, no problem, man. Digital fist bump. Boom. Any reviews about totem speakers? Uh, no, not, not, not really. Um, haven't even thought about it, so. I'll put that on my list. No picture on the C7 when connected to the UBK90. Oh, that's a new 4K Blu-ray player, huh? That's weird. That could just be the uh, Blu-ray player issue and not a TCL or not your LG. Try another, uh, see if you can try another box. I don't know how you get one, but see if you can try another uh, 4K player. Shane Star, Xbox One S supposed to get Final Fantasy VII? Oh, awesome. Well, then I guess I don't have a use for my PS4 Pro. Chris has one Xbox One S. I have two Xbox One S's and two Xbox One X's. The S's are going to be sold off pretty soon. Now that I've got my uh, X's all upgraded. El Grande. Yeah, it's kind of rough, man. There's panel lottery uh, for the um, the new TCL 55 R617 and 615. So uh, make sure you got a good return policy. And if something's wrong or so you don't like it, just return it. Return it. Be Be that guy. You, sometimes people are like, I don't want to be that guy. Even at a restaurant. Oh, do I want to be that guy? This food doesn't taste good. Send it back. It's your hard-earned money. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, RJ Singh, what's up, man? Um, do, 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 do. Regarding the output settings, Apple TV 4K plugged into X, uh, Sony X900E. When I play Dolby Vision movies, should I see still use 4K HDR output? Thanks. Um, you should do the match content, which is on the Apple TV 4K, I believe. Match HDR or something like that. But the Sony 900E doesn't even, um, it's not even DV capable, so. Chris, where can you get some speaker mounts? Um, you know what? I just Amazoned and Googled it, really. I was looking for something because I might be doing the Voice of God channel for Oro 3D. And that's got to be directly above the listening position so that's going to be interesting so i'm kind of looking around so far just amazon and google that stuff gts google that stuff when you talk about two thousand versus ten thousand for speakers are you really getting a true value for that massive dollar difference uh i think you are getting the name name and status those are two huge things in the hi-fi world um there is a difference the question is can you hear the difference and that's really where it comes down to. Now, I heard some $60,000 speakers at CES, and those things were phenomenal. It was just a one-inch tweeter and an eight-inch woofer, and those things were sick. 
some French company. I have their card somewhere around here. Um, cause they were going to send me some of their lower end speakers to review. I still haven't got to gotten to them cause I still have way too much to review as it is, but, uh, there is a difference. It's just a matter of, can you hear the difference and can you tell, and is it worth it for you? I heard some revels that were 10,000 a pair and they were awesome. They were powered by Mark Levinson and they sounded great. The techniques that I heard, technique speakers, not turntables, technique speakers I heard were phenomenal as well. But, you know, that was $60,000 for the setup. You get the Techniques amp, preamp, and the speakers. Still, $60,000, I would prefer my Audi instead of the speakers. Hey, T, uh, hey Andre, what's going on? Andre Kokum, I don't know how to say that. What's up? Have to try Crown amps. I got the XL. Yeah, Scarecrow. I'm not sure about Crown amplifiers because those are made for um, mostly live um, venues and stuff like that. I do a lot of live shows and stuff, so I am familiar with them. I'm not sure how they would work in a home theater application. I know someone. I know someone said that uh, they don't sound good with a horn. So if you're trying to power clip speakers with them, probably not a good idea. Um, uh, Dan Kim, the Martin and Logan uh, Dynamo 700. I don't know about the Dynamo 700, but I know that the the uh, Magnolia in Reno, Nevada, that I I frequent whenever I go there. Their 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 um, Martin Logan setup. That I don't know which one it is. It could be the 700 or the 800, but it 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 sounded great. Darren, take it easy, man. Yeah, see you on the next one. I'm about to finish up here. I gotta um I gotta go set up for this wedding expo so I can make some money so I can buy more stuff. <laughs> uh Dan, do I play Overwatch? No, man. Mostly Call of Duty. Um I tried pub pub PUBG last night. Oh man, I got owned. It sucked. Uh I have a gaming PC and three screens. For some reason screens turn black. Man, I, I don't know. I don't know, Fernando. I don't know what you're using. I don't know what all that's about. Uh, Game Troll, with 4K content still not fully adopted by media companies, is it really worth the manufacturers pushing for uh, 8K and other features they shouldn't? Yeah, really. Uh, a lot of broadcasts still happening 720p. Can you believe it? And most 1080 broadcasts are 1080 interlaced and not progressive. So, I don't know. People are always saying, like, 8K is on the corner, around the corner. I, I, don't, I really don't think so. But that's my opinion. Uh, Andre, when are you going to uh, DJ li during a live stream? That will probably be on my music channel. Um, yeah. So if you want to, you can go ahead and subscribe to that channel. There's the uh, link for that. All right, guys. I know there's 63 of you here. It is uh, 107. We're a little over time. I try to keep this to uh, one hour. They are for Sony and Onkyo. Where do you get your music? Uh, are using DJ Serato with 1200s? I am, um, when I'm mobile, uh, I have turntables around here, but when I'm mobile, I use a uh, Pioneer DDJ SZ2. It's the big, big DJ controller. I had a S, I had a Pioneer DDJ SX1. I had a Pioneer DDJ SX2. Then I uh, upgraded to the Pioneer DD, DDJ SZ2. So I use an SZ2 when I DJ. It's mostly mobile. Um, all right, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to smash the like button. Everybody uh, out there on the replay, put your questions down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that button as well. I got to go, guys. I got to set up for this uh, wedding expo and try to make some more money so that I can buy more speakers and amplifiers and TVs and stuff for the channel. Um uh, John, I, I have no idea. Room 18 long, 13 wide, 8 feet high. 13 times 18 times 8. Oops. 13 times 18 times 8. 1,800 square feet. I don't know what you're asking me about, but, um, later. Um... 1800 square feet. I would go with a 12 inch subwoofer if that's what you're asking about. Maybe a little bit more if you like a little bit more. All right. 
that's it for today's Saturday uh, live stream, you guys. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. Always a pleasure. Uh, I love that you guys are into this stuff. I'm in, I've am in. i been into this for a long time. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, want to pick my brain, feel free to leave uh, the questions down in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. You can ask me questions there, Facebook, um, uh, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure the links are going to be everywhere down in the description. So thanks again for stopping by. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right, um, let me figure out how to do my end screen here and we'll be out. There we go. Wait, no. Boom, there it is. All right, it's still slowly, slowly but surely getting getting the hang of this live streaming thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dad, and I'll see you next time. Peace.